Hello, it's Jamin95, and welcome to my Fridditch tutorial. This is going to be part one, more of introduction and introduction to F2L. Um, and then I'll have other parts on OLL and PLL. Um, this video is for beginners, people who are just transferring from the beginner's method, or maybe just briefly learning about the F2L and wanting to learn more. Uh, this might be difficult for just some new beginners, but uh, let's just continue. So here's a cube, and the fridge method has four parts. Uh, people call it CFOP, cross, F2L, OLO, and PLO. What does that mean? First, the cross is the basic cross. F2L is basically this, the, uh, what's it called? First two layers. When, you, when this is not solved, the top isn't solved, but you solve these bottom two. OLO is when you orient the last layer. When you get all the colors at the top, PLO is permute, meaning you just move the edges or corners where they need to go, and it's solved. Um, I'll just do an example. So usually people solve the cross on the bottom or the left, but um, for beginners, I recommend the bottom. Don't do the top yet. If you do do the top, make sure when you're um, ending your cross, you have it at the bottom. So I'm going to do yellow. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to teach this because you already should know it. There's a cross. Now, uh, let's do F12. See, so it's basically getting a pair like this. So when you place it in, you get the corner and the edge on top of it. Okay. Um, and you're probably like, if you're new, you're probably like, what is she doing? Well, this is what I'm doing. Um, you're just going to solve these two layers. Okay. And then you're going to, um, for me, I still get the cross, so you're going to get the cross, okay? Then you're going to do this move to um, orient, so all the whites are on the top. And then you're going to do a move to solve the rest of the cube. Oops. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Scrambling the cube up. Uh, let me actually, oops, let me actually scramble two cubes. So here we go. Um, again, I'm just going to get the cross, no, expla no explanation needed. Okay, F2L. Um, let me first show you some basic cases, okay? So, and here's some vocab, okay? So right now, since I just got the cross, all of these are called empty slots. But you can see there's a pair right here, so I want to preserve this pair. Now, if you're new, then you don't really have to pay attention to this, but if you're a speed cuber, you should pay attention to this. But let's just skip this for now, okay? So whenever you want to do a slot, what are slots first? Slots are these things. It's the corner and the edge on top. So right now, all of these are called empty slots. If I said I want an empty slot in the back, or like it's needed, I'm saying that this has to be unsolved, or else you'll mess it up. If I want an empty slot on the right, I will say it's this one. Empty slot on the left, this one. I never say the back left, ever. So here we go. Um, I'm going to be solving this corner and this edge. Yeah, Since it's white, green, orange, which belongs right here, so I'm going to hold it right in front of me, right here, on the right, right in front of me, if you get that. And I'm going to look for the edge. You're like, how do I know what the edge is? Well, since this is white, the other two colors are green and orange, okay? The green and orange is the edge, which is right here. Okay, here we go. When the bottom color, white, is facing towards you so if it was like this and you put it in front of you and it's facing towards you what you're going and and the edge is also on the top layer and they both have the same colors on the top so it's green and green it doesn't have to be like this if it's like this or like this edge is over here but they cannot be the corner and the edge cannot be next to each other in this case i'll teach you that later so what you do is you put this corner in the back. So just turn it so it's in the back right here. And you're going to hide the corner. So R. So it's down here. Do a U2 or a U. Anything to place this edge right here. So I'm going to have to do a U2. I'm going to rebuild my cross. Or in other words, um, bring the corner back up. So when I do a U2, you could see this whole pair. To place it in, just do it like a regular corner. If you're not used to it, um, it's just R U prime R prime. Okay. Uh, my next case is something like this. 
when the bottom color is facing up. So I'm doing the white, red, green, the corners here, it's facing up, and the edge, red, green, is right here. The, it doesn't really matter how it's flipped, so you don't have to worry about that. When it faces up, since this is red, when you look at it straight on like this, you want to turn the top until this matches the red center. So there we go. Since it's red-green, you know it belongs here. So if you do an F, it matches. But you don't want it to match. So I'm going to turn it to the red, the red-blue position. This might sound confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. So again, you just match it up to the correct center, turn it the opposite way where it needs to go, and then you're going to bring this corner, the corner that belongs with this edge, right on top of it. So it doesn't always, it's not always a U2, it could be a U or something. You're going to undo the setup move, or in other words, rebuild your cross, and you're going to place this in. Now when you place this in, you can't do RUR prime to place it in, because they'll mess this up. What you're going to have to do when it's like this is rotate the cube and use your left. So lift it up and place it. So let me just mix that up. Um, so this is when the bottom color is facing towards the right and the edge it has opposite colors and it's like this. Meaning um, it's blue. Okay, if you read it, read the cube colors like this, it's orange, blue, orange, blue. It's like this, vertically. If it's over here, that's a different case, and you set it up for this. But it's orange, blue, orange, blue. Okay. Um, you place it over where it needs to go, like this, and just do R, U, R prime to place it in. Um, the last case, uh, well, first of all, you already know this case. It's from the beginner's method. But I use a different move. But anyways, um, just, um, I want to show you one more case where it's flipped, okay? This is one of the hardest cases to learn. Now again, this is only an introduction to F2L. In um, the next video, I'll go into depth on F2L, okay? So don't worry. So this, uh, what you're gonna do is you don't really care about if it's solved or not, but let's pretend whenever you do this move, it is solved. Okay, so here we go. And if you don't like this algorithm, um, just watch the next video on paired um, on connected F2 L pairs. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be R prime, so bring it down. U2, R2, you're you're pairing it pairing it up, U, um, placing it in, do an R2, then do a U to place this back one in, and then just do an R. Okay? And then from here, um you want to cross and yeah. So I'm just going to do one example solve that you probably won't get at all, but it's okay. Um, it's better to show you than not to show you. Sorry if I'm rushing, but yeah, here's the cross. Okay. So I see this is this yellow is facing up, and there's the edge. I'm gonna oops. I'm gonna turn it towards the green. Okay. Turn it the opposite way, which is like this. Bring this corner above the edge. Um, undo the setup move and place it in. Um, I have the same case here, so I'm just gonna turn it the opposite way, bring the corner above, undo the setup move, and place it in. Uh, then I see this and this, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do with this edge when it's stuck in here is just take it out by just um, first moving it one spot away on the opposite side. So I can't do this, I'll do this, and just do L prime mu L, and it's this case. When it's facing towards me and they have the same colors on the top, I'm going to hide it in the back and go like this. Bring this over, so do a U2. Re um, finish my cross, place this in. Uh, this is a faced up one, so I'll turn it towards the blue, turn it towards the orange, place this on top, undo the side move, and place it in. That is the introduction to F2L. Um, in the next video, I will, go, I will go more into depth on that. If you don't get anything, please rewatch this video or, yeah. So guys, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed my F2L video, and watch the next one, should be coming out not too soon, but it will come out, and thanks for watching.